time my minions we are back with some more modded mass effect 3 got yeah, been asked to check on cortez let's check our monitor real fast we got a rare weapons dealer which i believe is part of the expanded universe uh, miranda wants me to meet Need to meet with Bison right away. They can go whatever the hell they want. Okay. Let's go speak with Rodriguez. Uh. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No, don't. Commander. Sorry. Didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved. Said goodbye, made my peace. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt this alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Now, okay. Went and spoke with our uh, guy. Yes! <laughs> yeah! I have friggin' no idea what the hell that does. See, we have a spare Cerberus shuttle. That's actually cool. I never even knew. So that's cool. Instead of having to buy one. What the hell's up with Edie? She's found a new home, I guess. <laughs> a super hot, sexy home. <laughs> you take her on a mission, I'm gonna be just a little bit distracted. <laughs> you mentioned a mission you had against the collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic? Yep. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. So, I'm a loco, huh? Yeah. 
I mean, I'm pretty crazy, but the shit you've done <laughs> makes me look sane. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. <laughs> you got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines. And it was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing. You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. <laughs> no promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. I'll talk to you later. You bet. What the hell is that? Yay, we got models. Holy crap. Might as well. I did not know this was here. Oh, son of a bitch. Viper for the widow. Honestly, I didn't know that was there, so son of a son of a bitch. Now we don't want to go to engineering. It's uh crew deck. Couple things we need to do. Looks like you've settled in, Garrus. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is <laughs> a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. <laughs> oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. 
Sovereign didn't go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any different. Still not convinced I should have left Paladin behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. And not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember. A certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. <laughs> Something else you want to talk about? This is why we like Garrus. You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. Pretty soon, blind hope is all we'll have left. And I hate being blind. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. <laughs> Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. So what's this Reaper task force you've been <laughs> After the Collector base, I knew time was running out, for all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. <laughs> but he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. What did you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colony, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Pretty much. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. And if he did try, well... We'll just find another Primarch. I noticed General saluting you, Garrus. <laughs> How far down the line of concession are you these days? Let's not go there. Primarch Vicarian, 
honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Yeah, somebody who knows how to hold a hammer. <laughs> That's all for now, Harris. <laughs> it's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Garrison and his calibrations. Sorry, Shepard, can't talk right now. I'm calibrating. You're positive you don't want to come over and talk. No, the gun battery. It's nice and quiet. If I throw down some rugs, it'll get down Garris. my cozy. I'll be fine, Leora. I'm just gathering some thoughts. All right. Okay. Shepard. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. Okay, we found that. See what have you been up to since we last saw each other? After the time I saw you on Ilium? Well, apart from becoming the Broker, I spent my time looking for any defense against the Reapers. The only substantial records were the Protheans. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars? Yeah, we've already I talked thought I'd about covered this. my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. Greetings, Commander. Okay. The only person we haven't talked to lately is Doc, and see if she's got anything for us. Probably not. Uh, it's good. Will be a good place to end this because we just kind of puttered around. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. All right, we put it around. Let's go. Let's check out our cabin. We haven't really checked out our cabin. We need to go relax a little bit. We got no fish. This thing was full. Those bastards! It took all my fish. There's our old helmet. There's some some of the models. All right, good place to stop. I think next stop is heading to the Citadel. Talk with people. I know, kind of the boring stuff. Talk with people. We got to talk with Miranda. We got to talk with Aria. We got to meet with some stuff on Spectre stuff. Just get some uh, uh, chain lines going because Aria is going to give us this whole thing for Omega. 
So let's set that up and we'll head over there. With that said, if you guys and girls like what you see, please subscribe. Throw me on your favorite smash that like button. Comments, questions, want to game with me, want to see me stream, let me know. And until next time, keep on gaming, my minions.